What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be creating a Tron effect that you could apply to your text or logos or images and this works best with text. So if you guys are into art or kind of just want to do something for fun, then this tutorial is for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how to do this. Let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and begin by creating a new, uh, new document. So that's you can do this by going over to file and then new and then it's going to bring up a new window so you're going to go ahead and give it a name i'm going to name this tron uh text uh effect and then uh the width we're going to change that to 1920 by 1080 resolution 72 and color mode rgb background content so we're going to change it to transparent because we can always fill it with black and yeah so keep everything the same and click ok and I, by the way, I have this in reference so I can just keep track of our color of the colors we're going to be using. So here is our document. So now we're going to go ahead and fill this with a uh, black. But before we do that, we're going to have to go ahead and change the layer name. So in the layers palette, you're going to see the layers right here and you're going to see layer one. We're going to go ahead and double click on that and change that to background. And it should be like this. So now we're going to go ahead and fill that with black. So if you have a color set in your foreground, uh, then simply click D on your keyboard for the shortcut or click this right here and then we'll set it to the default uh, color which is black and white so click on that and then it's gonna be black and then white make sure that you have your foreground set to black uh, if it's like this just simply click this right here or press X to switch between the colors so once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and press option delete on the keyboard or alt delete if you're on a PC or you could do um, an easier method by going to your tools palette and we're going to see gradient uh, the gradient tool and then we're going to click and hold and we're going to switch to the paint bucket tool when we switch to the paint bucket tool this will allow us to paint whatever is in our canvas so we're just going to click and there you go or you could just do option delete that works the same way uh, I'm going to go ahead and change this to a lighter uh, black so something like that so 151515 uh, click OK and once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and uh, make a pattern over our background so it's not boring, so it's, it gives it a better feel. So to do this, we're going to have to go ahead and import a pattern. Now, I, I provided you guys a download link in the description so you guys can download this pattern that I'm about to show you. So if you go over to File and Open and you open up the pattern, so that's on my desktop, and it's called Subtle, uh, Subtle Carbon, click Open. And you may notice that it's going to be very small. So it's going to look like this. Uh, that's okay. We're going to go over to edit and we're going to go to define pattern. And when you click define pattern, you're pretty much making a pattern, a new pattern that you could use. So it says name. We're going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to name it uh, tutorial pattern, I guess. And I'm going to click OK. And now we could close this because we don't need it anymore. We already have it saved. So in our background, uh, layer. We're gonna go ahead and double click in an empty area and it's gonna bring up the layer style window. We're gonna go over to pattern uh, overlay. So I'll click on this. When you click the check mark, click on the right side of it so you could actually go to that. The blend mode, keep everything the same, but where it says pattern, you're gonna see a little image and to the right of that, you're gonna see down arrow. Click on the down arrow and you're gonna see, you're not gonna see these little black uh, icons here because those are the ones I've created previously. But you'll probably have these five right here. So in order to select it, we're going to simply click on the one we've created, which is probably the last one. And you're going to see little tiny squares. I bet you can't see this on YouTube because it's probably YouTube compresses the image or the video and on YouTube is harder to see. So I'm going to change it to 160. So you guys can totally see it now. If not, I could do 170. Uh, not 1000, 170, and you can see a little bit better. So the scale, we're going to scale it to 170 and percent and make sure your link with layer is checked and click OK. So now we're done with our background. Now it's time to create our text. So click a uh, the new layer here or go over to layer, new layer or shift command N for the shortcut. And we're going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to name it text and keep everything the same. Click OK or press enter. And I'm going to go over to our text. So on the layers or the tools palette, we're going to go over to the letter T to go to our text tool. Now the font I'm going to be using is Cumulus, Cumulus Light. I'll provide a download link for that too, uh, along with the pattern 
in the description so everything will be found in the description if you guys want to follow along with this tutorial so it's a little bit easier for you guys i'll also provide a um a project file for you guys to use but that will unlock at uh, 30 likes so uh cumul cumulus light that's the font we're using make sure that your color is set to a lighter like a lighter black if you have white or red or blue or green or pink or red I think I said red already. <laughs> um, it's gonna be harder, the effect is not gonna be cool because you're using a neon green and black and green is a good combination. So the hex code is 151515151515. Easy to remember. Click OK and we're gonna go ahead and click anywhere on our document and I'm make sure your caps is on. And I'm gonna name this tutorial. Tutorial. Wow, I can't spell today. Press command or type <laughs> command enter to accept changes or control enter and we're going to resize it by pressing command T or control T and click and hold shift and drag outwards. So once we've done that we're going to see tutorial if you want to center this perfectly hold command or control and click the background layer and on the top you can see the um, the horizontal centers and the vertical center we're going to uh, we're going to align this horizontally and vertically by clicking this too, and that will center it perfectly. So once we've done that, um, we're going to go ahead and start adding the effects to our text. So before we do that, we're going to have to rasterize it. So make sure you have everything set because you can't change it afterwards. So right click on our layer and then go over to rasterize text or type. Once we've done that, we're going to double click on our uh, text layer and it's going to bring up the layer style window. Once we've done that, we're going to go over to stroke and click on stroke right here. And for the size, we're gonna change that to three. The position is outside. Blend mode is set to normal. The opacity is set to 95%, so change that to 95. Um, and the fill type, change that to gradient. And you can see it's starting to come along, so that's great. Gradient, we're gonna click on this little box, this color box, and it's gonna bring up the gradient editor. If I made a video on this, uh, a tutorial on this, so if you guys haven't watched that already, Please do so, it just helps you guys get familiar with this so you're not stuck. So it's a little bit easier on you guys. So once you've done this, um, we can go ahead and start adding in our colors. So the reason I made my other, the sampled the colors, so I'm going to cancel this. Uh, we're going to sample this color right here. I'll go ahead and tell you guys what the hex code is that for that. So I'm going to press I for the eyedropper tool. And the hex code is 5C7A92. I'm going to post that on the screen right now, or I'm going to show you guys on the screen right now. Click OK. Um, so I'm going to go back to our text layer, uh, double click on our text layer, go to, uh, I could do this over again, but that's OK. Uh, I'm going to go over to, how's it, stroke? Uh, so size is 3, outside, this is 95. Color is, or the fill type is set to gradient, and click the color box. So once we have uh, done that, we're going to go ahead and click our square, our black square. And you can see that there's a black triangle on top of our square. That means it's selected. So now we can go over to color, click on this little black box, and it's going to bring up the color picker. We're going to go ahead and enter in our hex code. So we're going to just press command V or control V to paste it in and then click OK. Um, so that's not the color, oh crap, that's not the color I wanted. So the color is 5C7A92. I really don't know why I didn't paste it in there. I don't know why, that's really weird. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and create a new little color. So I'm gonna click anywhere right here and you can see that your your cursor is, it changes to a hand and that means you can click. And we're gonna change this to black, just all black. Click okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a, another one like this, the same color, so click right here. I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna sample this color. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in. I know that's not the color that I'm looking for. So you can simply like use the eyedropper tool and then it's gonna select this one right here. So that's a quicker way to do it. And then we're gonna create a new one right here and then another one right here and change that one to black. So it look, it should, whoops, it should look something uh, like this. So let me go ahead and reorganize this. Um, so it should look like this, so it should be this color right here, uh, which is like a lighter, darker blue, and then, or navy blue, and then we have black, and then navy blue, and then navy blue, and then black, and then for some reason this one's set to white, we're going to go ahead and change that again to our other color, so it's going to be set like this. So it should look something like this, I'm going to pause it right now, 
or pause it right now so you guys can check this and make sure everything's right. So once we've done that, we're going to click OK. So now it's coming along. So we're going to change the uh, angle to 90. So it's up like this and uh, keep uh, everything the same. So just don't mess with anything for now. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to go over to Inner Glow. And we're going to go ahead and change this color right here. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and sample this color here because that's the color I want. I'm going to go over to Inner Glow. Select this color, this little box right here. And we're going to paste in our hex code. So Command V or Control V. And click OK. And cool. So once we've done that, we're going to change the blend mode to Lighten. And technique software, softer, my bad, source edge, and the size is set to 10. So change that to 10. And then right where it says contour, we're going to change the contour. So click the down arrow and select the top or the bottom left right here. And then it's going to change its contour. So now we're going to change the range to 50 or just keep it the same. And make sure anti, a, anti alias is unchecked. I really don't know how to pronounce that. So if I pronounce it wrong, please tell me in the comments. Um, now we're going to go ahead and add a outer glow. So click on the outer glow, click on this, and we're going to go ahead and um, add a, another color. So I'm going to click OK and, and go back to here and select this color here. And go back to our text, go to outer layer, um, and I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. So I can just simply click on this. So the hex code is 26C9FF, and if you guys didn't catch the other, the other color, it's 1DCBEA. Sorry, I, I didn't show you, but go to Outer Glow and make sure the opacity is set to 99%. The blend mode is set to screen. Technique is on softer. Size is set to 9 pixels. And keep everything the same. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and create a drop shadow. So click on the drop shadow. And we're going to go ahead and change this to color burn. The color should, set, should be set to black. Opacity, is, uh, change that to 50%. The angle is 90%. So if I'm going a little bit fast, please pause and go back. I just kind of want to make this a little bit quick so I don't bore you guys. <laughs> so I try to keep it under 15 minutes. So the distance set that to 2 pixels. The size set that to 5 pixels. Keep everything the same and click OK. Now we're done with the <laughs> with the um, uh, effect on the text, which is a lot. Once we have uh, done everything and our final step is to go to the uh, layer. So I'm going to go over, make sure your text layer is selected. Go over to layer and then go to a uh, new adjustment layer and go to photo filter. Give it a name. I'm going to just name it um, Scion. I'm going to just name it Scion. Click OK. And then where it says filter, it says warming filter. Change that to Scion. And then color should... It should change it to Scion. Density, I'm going to change that to 60%. So now you can kind of see the background is a little bit like a Scion type of color, as you can see. You can't really see a difference. Uh, you can't tell a diff the difference, but it's there. So this is how you create the Tron effect. Um, you could also just change the colors if you guys don't want it this way. You could also have it like a gold color. So you could change up the, the stroke here, and that will change pretty much everything around it. Um, the inner glow again you could change it to however you want be creative with this but this is how you create it with the text uh, or the Tron effect so if you guys enjoy these tutorials please leave a rating below that would be much appreciated it means a lot it means you guys want more tutorials speaking of tutorials if you guys want to leave a suggestion please leave it in the comment section and I'll be glad to respond to that to your comments and uh, I upload Monday Wednesday and Friday and um, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, stay classy. Peace out.